Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to look at geolocation routing policies. So geolocation routing policies lets you choose where your traffic will be sent based on the geographical location of your users. So i.e. the location from which the DNS queries originate. For example, you might want all queries from Europe to be routed to a fleet of EC2 instances that are specifically configured for your European customers. So these might be little web servers that are using the Euro uh, symbol rather than the US dollar symbol, for example. Uh, and these servers might also have the local language of your European customers and all price displayed in euros, etc., etc. Let's have a look at how this works. So we've got our European customers. They're connecting in. They hit Route 53 with a DNS query and it's automatically routed through to EU West 1. We've got our US customers. They hit Route 53 with a DNS query and that's automatically routed over to US East 1. So geolocation routing is very, very simple. Don't confuse it with latency-based routing. Um, as you saw in the latency-based routing lab, even though I'm in London, it was I was getting better latency over to Ohio than I was getting it over to Ireland. And if you really need to lock down which users are going to which EC2 instances, then you probably want to use geolocation routing over latency-based routing. So let's go over to the AWS console. Okay, so here I am in the AWS console. I'm just going to go over to EC2 and I just want to show you something. So I've got my Irish EC2 instance. We stopped that in the last lecture. I have gone in and started it again, but what's happened is the public IP address has now changed. And because the public IP address has now changed, I need to go in and update all my health checks. Now, the way you stop that from happening is you provision it with a dedicated IPv4 address. That's one way of doing it. Uh, but as we go throughout the rest of this course, we're going to just start using Elastic load balancers and you don't get IP addresses with elastic load balancers. You're then just using DNS names. So let's go over to route 53, which of course is always under network and content delivery. Just going to go over to my health checks and you can see that this health check is now unhealthy. I can go in and edit it just by clicking up here, edit health check. And I'm going to change the IP address here to 34, whatever it is there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm just gonna pause the video for a couple of minutes and I've just refreshed the screen and it is now healthy. So let's go over to our dashboard. We're gonna go into our hosted zones and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a new record set. So again, it's gonna be my zone apex. I'm going to change this to TTL to 60 seconds. And I'm gonna paste in my, uh, my IP address. So this is the new one. I'm just gonna delete that out. So this is for Ireland. And then my routing policy, I'm gonna change this to geolocation. And in here, I'm going to choose my location. And your location can be done on continents, and it can also be done in countries. So I'm going to send my European users uh, over to Europe. I'm going to type Europe in here. And then I'm going to associate this with the health check as well. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, associate this to the Irish health check and go ahead and hit create. So that is now sending my European customers over to Europe. Let's go ahead and create one more record set. I'm gonna paste in here my Ohio server's IP address. I'm gonna change this to geolocation. And then my location, I'm going to change this to North America. And I'm going to say USA. And in here, I'm going to associate this with a health check and I'm going to associate it with my uh, health check to Ohio and go ahead and hit create. So now if we go back up over here to hellocloudgurus2019.com. So I've gone in and hit refresh and it is now going taking me over to my Irish web server. I've got a VPN client open up here and I'm actually uh, VPNed into uh, Sweden right now. If I go over to the United States, let's see what happens. Okay, that's now connected into the United States. I hit refresh and it's taking me over to Ohio. So it's basically, it's routing my traffic based on where I am. So in terms of my exam tips, just remember exactly what geolocation routing is. It allows you to send your European customers over to your European servers and allows you to send your US customers over to their US uh, servers. So it basically routes traffic based on your user's location, not to be confused with latency-based routing. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. In the next lecture, we're going to look at geoproximity routing. This is where you start going down the Route 53 uh, rabbit hole. It gets very, very complicated. And to be honest, it goes beyond the scope of the Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. It's, pretty, it's almost beyond the scope of the Certified Solutions Architect Professional exam. It is a really, really complicated. We'll go have a quick look at it, but we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.